Hey guys, I actually wanted to come to you live during your lunch hour, again. Um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about the five second rule and I've actually been watching a lot of videos and, and reading up on this and it's really helping me in um, my life and making decisions and so I wanted to share it with you. So I'm gonna hop right into it, I'm gonna explain some things. Obviously, um, my title is clearly what this is about. Why is it so hard for us to do those little things in our life that we know can improve our lives? Those things that are going to impact us, those things that are going to change our lives. Why is it so hard for us? Um, guys, the reason it's so hard is because our minds are designed to protect us. Our minds are actually um, designed to stop us at all cost from doing anything that could hurt you that could um alter that change they don't your body doesn't want change necessarily you know your mind's telling you that um that is totally different than you know mind over matter i mean that, i think that i think that's so important that's why the mind is so important you've got to have that mindset uh, because your mind is actually supposed to protect you so it talks you out of certain decisions it talks you out of change okay so it takes sec five seconds and if you've ever heard uh, mel robbins she's a uh I love her. She's a great motivational speaker. And she talks about how five seconds can change your life. And it literally can. Um, because you have five seconds from the moment you think of something to act on it before your mind actually talks you out of it. Before your mind actually um, sabotages your thought process. It actually will stop you from making whatever decision it may be. And I mean, let's just face it, guys, you know that you you have your own power to make a decision and it's your job to push yourselves, right? Like no matter what you do, it's your job to push yourself. If you're in a horrible relationship and you want out, you have to do it. If you are um, in a horrible job or in a situation that you, you need to get out of, it's your choice to get out of it, right? Same thing with your body. If you want to exercise, if you want to work out, if you want to eat right, it's up to you. I mean, it is up to us to do it, right? It's, it's our ultimate decision decision. Um, and, and as much as that is absolutely true, um, you, your mind has a lot to do with it. Your mind is going to be what makes that decision. So our minds are wired, like I said, to protect us, to keep us um, safe. It's actually, it, it's the way our body was built, to keep us alive and to prevent any change or anything that's going to be harmful. So what does that mean as far as you wanting to change, whether it's your your marriage or your relationship with a friend or your job or things happening at work or your body? Well, if you're trying to do something that's scary, that's overwhelming, that's difficult, that's going to cause some sort of pain to your body, that's going to be a bold decision, something that might be overwhelming, your mind is probably going to talk you out of it. Your mind is probably going to try to prevent you from making that change. Um, success is obviously not easy. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, it's easy. No, it's not. But it is easy for certain people. The reason it's easier for others to be successful is because they do three things. They do not procrastinate. They act. They make fewer excuses and they act on their goals. So those three, they don't procrastinate, they act on their goals, and they make fewer excuses. That's the only way to be successful. You cannot have excuses. You've got to act. And you can't procrastinate. It's got to be now. Making that decision now is what's going to impact tomorrow. So if you're waiting, it's never going to happen, guys. It's never going to come where, okay, now's the time. I feel good about this. It's never going to feel good. When you are overweight, it will never feel good to start losing weight and actually exercising and fighting. It feels good for the outcome of losing the weight and being healthy. It does not feel good to hurt your body, to get yourself in shape. It doesn't. It does not feel good when you go on a diet and you have to eat things that you don't want to eat. <laughs> As my husband says, rabbit food. And when you are putting yourself through that, it is never uh, going to feel good. It's never going to be the right time. You know those people who say, I don't want to have kids because um, you know, I'm just not ready or it's just not the right time. We just don't have the money right now. Um, guys, you're never going to have the money for kids. I can tell you that. If you've never had kids, girl, 
guys, you're never going to have the money for kids. <laughs> kids can drain you unless you are successful in a business and things like that. But let's talk real people, real situations. Even when you have multi-million dollar um, estates, you still cannot afford kids a lot of times. So um, it's never going to happen. You'll never be ready. So if you get up and you do the things that you have to do now, that's when you're going to be able to celebrate what's going to happen tomorrow. So you have that five seconds. Let me glance at my notes real quick. Um, so you know what you should do, right? You know that you have a decision to make. For instance, I, I went in the weight loss. I'll go to weight loss. So you know that you've got to get up and go exercise. You know that you have to eat right. You know that you, what you have to do, right? You know what you should do. You know what you would like to do but you are procrastinating, you're making excuses, and you're not acting. So that's why you're not being successful. So when you know that you need to act on something and you know what you should be doing, you have five seconds. Five seconds. Some of, some of us have less than five seconds to make that decision. If you do not make that decision from idea and move from I have this idea to I need to act on it, it's gone. Your mind will sabotage you. I'll give you a prime example. So you get up in the morning, the alarm goes off, you reach over, you have a decision whether to hit snooze or go ahead and get up. That decision is pretty simple and you make that decision within seconds. If you think about it, and this I've done it, I've done it, I've hit the snooze button or reset my alarm and put the phone down and then I think about it and I'm like, do I really want to get up? Should I get up? I should probably get up now. Now my mind is going and my mind's like, oh, you're never going to go back to sleep. You might as well just get up. It took me all of a couple seconds to set that alarm, right? But my mind started working and it's going to sabotage me. Oh, you could take five more minutes of sleep. Just get five more minutes of sleep. So you have that five seconds to take an idea to action before your mind comes in to sabotage whatever idea it makes. So your decisions are everything and once you actually make that decision, you need to act on it. Be aware of the five second rule. You need to be able to own that, know that because the more you do it, the more you're conscious about it, the more you will act on it, the more you will use it. So if you come up with an idea, I'll tell you yesterday I had an idea, it was an amazing idea and I thought about it, was gonna act on it and then I moved on to something else and I realized that someone else had similar idea and ran with it and they did what they needed to do. And I was like, dang it, I should have done that. I knew that I should have done that. You have five seconds. So do not let your day go by without being successful in whatever decision that you're making. Do the things that you don't want to do right now. Going back to weight loss, go exercise. And I can talk to myself about this. Go exercise. Go eat right. Do what's uncomfortable because the more you do it, what happens? A habit is formed and you do it more frequently, right? You start to actually push yourself toward whatever goal it is. And you pushing forward through whatever your thought process is and getting to those, those five-second decisions is going to eventually basically push out any negativity so you've got it in your head you go to the gym and you're like i'm gonna die like literally going to fall on the ground and die during this workout um if you're telling yourself that you're probably going to end up on the ground if you i gotta do this i gotta do this mind over matter and you push through the next time it gets a little easier the next time it gets a little easier and so forth so um when it's pertaining to your business Three things, again, don't procrastinate and don't make excuses and you need to act now. But that really can be tailored to anybody's life, anything. It can be to a relationship, it can be to your business, it can be to your health, it can be um, you know, with your kids, anything. You need to really focus on the fact that you can't make excuses, you need to act now, you can't wait until it's comfortable or right or when you have the time because you will never have any of those. You need to do it. Five seconds, make that decision and take it from idea to action before those five seconds go away and your mind self sabotages you. <laughs> so if this was helpful, please post a comment. Tell me how it was helpful for you. Share this. Please love it. Share it. And um, I hope that y'all have an absolutely wonderful day. If you're watching the replay, please comment below. Tell me that you had a replay and that you're watching the replay and let me know um, if this was helpful. Share away. Love y'all. Bye.